JLo has a beauty line and we are going to talk about it. That cleanser literally stripped my skin and for $38, stop it, no. Hey my loves, my name is Sheree and welcome to my beauty and fashion channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the products from the JLo Beauty launch. The beautiful Jennifer Lopez recently launched a skincare line and at first I was like, hmm, skincare, JLo? Do I get skincare from JLo? She launched four products and they are supposed to give you a glow and they're also supposed to tighten your skin. I actually picked up the deluxe package so it is all four of the products in I guess travel size containers. I, I think these would be travel size. So yeah, travel size. So let's just get into this. I'm going to try these products out and see how they work with my skin. I the first thing I'm going to do is just put my hair back because there is a cleanser involved in this. So yeah. So the first product I'm going to be trying out is a cleanser. It is called That Hit Single. It's a gel cream cleanser. Being that I'm not in a bathroom, I have a water bottle, so I'm just gonna wet my face down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's cold okay so I'm going to take oh there you go it's coming out like a gel oh I get it it's like a gel to cream cleanser oh okay I don't want to put it on my eyebrows so we're gonna go around the eyebrows because my eyebrows came out pretty decent today so yeah <laughs> There's really no smell to this product. It kind of just smells like unscented cleanser. All right, so how am I gonna wash this off? Let me run to the bathroom and wash this off. All right, I washed the cleanser off and my skin definitely does not feel hydrated. It feels on the drier side. I, no, I'm not a fan of that. And usually when I finish with my cleanser, I move on to a toner. And it doesn't seem like there's a toner. So I think the next product I'm going to use is the serum. It is called That JLo Glow. And I love the packaging. It looks super expensive. It's like a little bullet encased in this clear acrylic plastic. It's cute. It's simplistic, it's cute, but it kind of stands out as well. I like that. I want to put it on because my face feels like so dry. Oh, hydration. Ooh. <laughs> so with my serums, I do kind of spread it over my face, but I like to kind of press it in as I'm spreading it. Oh, this feels nice. Am I glowing though? Do you guys see me glowing? Okay, JLo girl. I'm not mad at the serum. Tighten, brighten, and hydrate. Obviously, I can't tell if it's tightening my skin right now. Brightening. But as for the hydration, it's definitely making my face feel a lot better than it did prior to having it on. So now I'm going to try out the That Block Buster. This is a Wonder Cream or Cream Miracle. I'm really not a fan of these types of creams because I don't like to put my hand in my products. I kind of like to just um, squirt it out. For me, it's just like a cleanliness thing, but whatever. <laughs> so here's the product. It seems to be very thick. Oh, this is thick, like paste. All right, so let's just put it on our face. So this moisturizer claims to plump the skin, hydrate and nourish. So right now I can definitely tell that it is hydrating my skin. The serum and the moisturizer definitely, it you could feel the hydration. And there's also one more product in this line. It is the That Star Filter. So it's a complexion booster and it is a little bit of a bronzer so i need to figure out how i'm supposed to use this product are there any instructions because i have a feeling that i'm not supposed to put this all over my face it's gold so i'm thinking maybe i'm only supposed to put it in places where i would want a glow so kind of like 
the high parts of my cheek and then kind of just blend it all in like tap it in and it's beautiful i'll say that like i like the way this looks on my skin JLo does have glowy skin. I don't know. I don't think I ever look at JLo and be like, ooh, her skin is so glowy. I, like, I never feel that. I think my initial thought is, wow, you're really toned and in shape. And she's always wearing a dress with, like, a leg out. That's what I noticed about JLo. So, just like with makeup, I'm just going to put this in all the places that we highlight. Because it just feels like that's the right thing to do. <laughs> How does that look? Am I glowing? like the North Star. Ooh, let's put it down the bridge of my nose. So here's my skin up close. Hey, right, so let's just talk about the products. I can say right off the bat that the cleanser is not my jam, okay? It's not something that I would reach for because I do not like cleansers that make my face feel stripped after I use them. The cleanser is a no for me. As for the serum, I think that it helped with hydrating my skin. It helped my skin feel a little bit more um, alive, nourished, hydrated. So it definitely worked. So when it comes to skincare, you have to try the product out, right? So you can try it out one or two times, but you're not going to really see it work unless you're using it for maybe 30 days, you know? So as for the claims of it being tightening and brightening, that will take a longer period of time for me to even see if that would work. But the nourishing part, the hydrating part, I can typically see that right away. Like, oh, my skin feels hydrated. It feels like it's being nourished. And in this case, yeah, it definitely works. It, it nourishes my skin. But brightening and tightening, you would have to kind of like see if that happens over time. As for the moisturizer, this cream is very thick. And it took a lot to move it around my face you know it kind of like it's stuck in one place and you kind of have to like move it around a little bit more it wasn't as smooth as I would like for it to be I also am not a fan of you know moisturizers that come in containers like this I wish that it came in a pump and I wish that it was a looser product because it was kind of thick so yeah this would probably be a no for me and my favorite product from the line is the JLo Beauty That Star Filter. And it is a complexion booster. So all I did was place it in places that I highlight my face. So like my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And you could definitely see it. So I'm thinking that this would be great to use like under your foundation to kind of like make that foundation have a little bit of a glow to it. That would be really pretty. But wearing it on its own, yeah, that's possible. But you definitely want to make sure it's blended in nicely. Otherwise, it's going to be like, girl, why do you have that gold streak on your face? That doesn't make any sense to me. So let's talk about the price points. I'm going to go on to Sephora.com where I picked up this kit. As you can see, she is right on the homepage. <laughs> All right, so the whole kit retails for $64. If I go to the prices for each item, okay. <laughs> they really tried it. All right, all right, so let's just talk about it. The cleanser, I'm kind of turned off by these prices. The cleanser is $38. So the moisturizer would retail for $58. There's the serum that I showed you, which is this. The full-size version is $79. Yeah, this is a no. Absolutely not. I have products that are way cheaper and they perform way better than these products that cleanser literally stripped my skin and for $38 stop it no and honestly I'm about to send this back overall after checking the full-size prices of each of these items I'm a little annoyed because it's it's, a, it's very pricey, like $80, the full version, and this is a good size for a travel size, so the full version may be a little bit bigger than this, and it's $80, and it's like for $80, can I get a glass case? 
Like we we gotta chill out with the prices and I get it. It's J Lo. She's a huge celebrity. I get it. So the prices are automatically gonna be up because it's J Lo. Like, hello. But it's a no. It's just a no. No. Just off the prices alone, I could never recommend this product to anyone. And I hate to say like be more on the negative side about a product, but $40 for a cleanser when we can head over to Walgreens, CVS, and get high-performing cleansers for under $10. Like, come on, humble yourself. And then you have $50 moisturizers when, again, I can go over to Ulta and get a high-performing moisturizer for under $20. And you know what? I get it. It's skincare. Sometimes skincare can run you, like, hundreds of dollars especially if you're leaning more towards like high-end high-performing skincare this is a new line the packaging is cheap and you're charging a lot of money we're not doing it we're just not and i'm actually a person who owns high-end skincare products because i'm really trying to work on my skin so i've been using some really good products to help with you know uh, hyperpigmentation blemishes uh moisturization all of that however those products perform and they are worth the $80 they're worth the $100 which is why I don't mind buying them but this is a new line is created by a celebrity I mean on the box you know she's claiming it took two years to create great but you're still a celebrity and you're most likely not using these products <laughs> and yeah I just gotta be honest this is not it there's just so many great, amazing skincare products out there that are slept on because maybe it's not backed by a celebrity. And that's not fair. But honestly, if you go on Sephora's website, you go on Ulta's website or any of these stores where you buy skincare, read the reviews where real people are telling you how these products are performing. What did the products do for them? And a lot of the products, they have like thousands and thousands of reviews. This is brand new and just off of my initial use of the products, they're not that great. So I'm kind of upset for them to be this expensive. Like don't insult us, but whatever. I'm not even gonna get into that because I'm just gonna say it's a no and that's that. I don't wanna be negative, you know, that's not what my channel is about, but I'll say this. If you want to try out her products, by all means, do you. If you're a fan, of course, you're going to go out and buy her products because you're a fan. But also be smart about the products you're buying, okay? Just know there are thousands of products that will perform like and better than these. That's all I have to say. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. Comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in even trying these products. If you've tried them, how do they work out for you? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video if you know someone who's thinking about trying out these products. This is a real review. This is how I'm feeling. So you can share it with them. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.